Now, a new feature of Final Cut Pro 7 is the ability to use alpha transitions. Now, for those of you who are not aware, an alpha transition is a transition that uses a clip's alpha track, in other words, its transparency, to create a transition from another clip of video across. Now, uh, usually used as a wipe. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to have two clips in our sequence. So, I got some... Uh, Shots here of New York. I already got these queued up to five seconds apiece. We're just going to insert these in. And now that we have it in, we need to get our alpha transition. We're going to go to the effects tab, and you're going to navigate video transitions, wipes, and the first one is alpha transition. We just drag that over our clips. Okay, now you see in the canvas it says place clips into clip wells. Well, what those clips are is the actual video, the whole thing, the alpha track of the video clip that we're putting into it, and the wipe mat. Now you need to have all three of these for it to work. Now you can have a uh, graphic artist create these for you, or someone that's skilled in After Effects or Motion, or you can get some of the free ones that Apple offers you on their website. And do that, all you have to do is go to the Final Cut Studio, Final Cut Pro page of their website, and go over to the Resources tab, Click on that, and you have Apple Content, Alpha Transition. Just go to Download Page, zip for the Alpha Transitions. You download it. It's, uh, it's three quarters of a gigabyte. It includes Circle, Countdown, Graph Paper, Leaves, Lens Flare, Mist, Veil, Static, and Sparkles. Uh, for this one, we're going to use Lens Flare. Now, what we do is we go over to our, uh, to our uh, browser here, and we're going to create a new bin. And we're going to name it uh, Alpha Transitions. We're going to open it up, and we're going to import our transition. So what we do is we find our Alpha Transitions folder that we downloaded. In my case, on my desktop. And we find the one that we want. I'm going to use Lens Flare, 60 frames. Um, these are automatically HD, the ones in the folder. And then there's a folder for SD ones. We're going to use HD. So we just pull in all three of these like that. Okay, now we can close this out. Now if we just uh, expand our bin here, Lens Flare Clip, that's the first one. Clip Alpha Mat is our second one. And Wipe Mat is our third one. So now what we've just done is we've got it all set up with our Alpha Tracks and everything for our transition. So we need to render this out because, yeah, it's not going to let me go unless I render it as HD. Rendering is a necessary evil. Fortunately, you have to do it. And you have to do it again and again and again. Unless you have a really fast machine or you have lots of X serves at your disposal. Okay, it's all set now. So, let's just play it through and see what we got now. There it is. Now let's watch that back go frame by frame. So it starts out, and you see the lens flare comes across, and right as soon as it envelops the screen completely where there's nothing visible anymore, uh, right about there I'd say, is where the clip underneath cuts, and it's seamless. So it just seems like you got a lens flare on the screen, oh, new shot. And that's how easy it is to do alpha transitions in Final Cut Pro 7.